Tonight, I'm going to show you how to make white trash. Stick around. Greetings, my confectionery compadres, and welcome to Randy Makes Candy, where I help you make tasty treats that people love to eat. A while back, I was speaking with a friend of mine, and the subject of candy came up. Ryan told me about a treat that his grandmother made called white trash. When he described it to me, I thought it might make a good episode, so I asked him if he was allowed to share the recipe or if it was a family secret. He graciously agreed to share it with me, and when I saw it, I knew we had a winner. It's a super simple white chocolate bark with a number of ingredients that you can adapt to your preferences. As always, I'd love to hear about your results if you decide to make your own white trash, as well as suggestions for other recipes you'd like to see in future videos. For this recipe, I used Life Cereal, Frosted Flakes, Honey Nut Cheerios, Peanuts, Pretzels, Mini Marshmallows, 24 ounces of white chocolate chips, and three tablespoons of peanut oil. I'm being purposefully vague about the amounts of the first six ingredients because the amounts for each don't matter. There just needs to be six cups total. I went heavier on the Life cereal because it's the best breakfast cereal ever, but you can modify the ingredients and amounts to suit your taste. Also, the recipe doesn't specify whether the peanut oil should be refined or unrefined. Refined peanut oil has little to no flavor, whereas refined has a slightly nutty taste. I went with the unrefined to give it a little extra layer of oomph. I also used a large baking sheet, some parchment, a large microwave-safe bowl, and a spatula. Okay, let's make some candy. Line the baking pan and set it aside. Combine the white chocolate and oil in the bowl and microwave in 30 second intervals until the chocolate is fully melted. Fold in the remaining ingredients. Spread the mixture evenly in the lined baking pan. Place it in the refrigerator for a few hours until it's completely set. Remove it from the baking pan and break or cut it into whatever size pieces you'd like. And that's it! As a special treat, we have some guest tasters tonight. My friend Ryan and his family have agreed to review this treat and let us all know how well I did with the family recipe. Hi, we are the Coleman's. We are good friends with Randy Gibson and his YouTube channel and all the desserts that he does. I was passing him one day and I thought about my grandma's recipe. She lives in Michigan. She makes this stuff called white trash. It's all an assortment of like white chocolate, cereal, peanuts, and pretzels. So I told him to make it and within three or four days, here we are. So we're gonna try it, give you guys the opinions of it. So go ahead guys, grab a piece. So good, so good. What do you think? You first. Um, I think that it tastes exactly like Grandma Allen's and he's really good at baking treats. Good job. What do you think, Abel? Good. You want more? Really good. Yeah, you want more? <laughs> yeah. What do you think, babe? Super good. Super. Just like Grandma's. Yeah. Um, little backstory, it's been hard to find someone who makes exactly like Grandma's white trash and this is near perfection. So good job, Randy. We love it. Favorite parts, the marshmallows. Yeah. So good. Almost as good as grandma's? That's gotta be the best review I've ever received. Okay, now it's my turn. Slanchava. Ah. 
I'll tell you what, compadres, grandmas know what's up. <laughs> This is probably the best bark I've ever made. The chocolate is snappy, the dry ingredients are crunchy, the marshmallows are ooey and chewy, and these flavors all really go well together. A bunch of distinct layers of sweetness and that salty zing that keeps it from being too sweet. All I can say is you really ought to try these. And a big RMC thank you to the Coleman's for their willingness to be a part of this episode. If you decide to make your own white trash, as well as... <laughs> I thought it might make a good episode, so I asked him if it just needs to be six cups total. All I can tell is.